Trapped without treatment, a Midlothian woman says she's forced to live with a tube protruding from her back because doctors won't perform the surgery she needs. Consumer Justice Investigator Kristen Severin is here to explain why. Amy needs surgery. What she got instead was a temporary fix, and it's created a whole new set of problems that she can't solve. Gosh, my boy. Amy Boykin has two loves her dog and drawing. Like the shading and the detail work. The sketches and Eli help take her mind off the near constant pain caused by a kidney stone. It's a seven by five stone, which is, is too large to pass on your own, they said. She was admitted to Dallas Methodist last month, where a urologist laid out the plan. And they said we we're going to put this tube in to take the pressure off the kidney because it was swelling up pretty large. Amy says she thought they would remove the tube and the stone a few days later. That's the only reason I agreed to the surgery is because they said that I could stay and have it done. That's the only way Amy's insurance, Medicare Part A, would cover it as an inpatient procedure. But hours later, we talked about it again, and she goes, No, I'm discharging you right now. Doctors said kidney stone removal is typically an outpatient procedure. Methodist discharged her with bandages, gauze, and some paperwork. They just do what they have to do to make sure that you're no longer in emergency, and then they kick you out. Now, Amy is stuck with a tube and a kidney stone she can't afford to remove. Amy, hey, how are you? Dr. Travis Brown sees Amy at least once a week to change her bandages and check for infection. He says it's only a matter of time before she's back in the ER. When you have a tube connecting the outside world full of bacteria straight to the kidney, she's going to get an infection. She's already been hospitalized once for an infection. But he says the hospital has to follow the guidelines laid out by Medicare. If they try to bend those rules, uh, the penalties are very severe. So is Amy's situation. I don't know what Amy could do. Uh, Amy has very limited means. Dr. Brown says the procedure costs about $5,000, a price tag not many could afford, even with insurance. Most Americans. You know, are living paycheck to paycheck. A spokesman for Methodist told us kidney stone removal is typically an outpatient procedure. Because of that, it is not uncommon for patients to go home with a tube in place with instructions to make a follow up outpatient appointment. Methodist does offer multiple types of payment assistance and payment plans for patients who do not have coverage and or cannot afford treatment. This can include discounts, charity care, and guidance for federal and state funding. In the meantime, Amy lives with a temporary fix while hoping for a permanent solution. My life's basically on hold until they can fix this. We reached out to the Texas Urological Society to see how common it is to send a patient home with a nephrostomy tube. That's the tube in her back. They said it's uncommon, but not unheard of. But keeping it in too long can create new kidney stones. Now, every doctor we spoke with says while Amy's situation is unique, many Americans have the same struggles with insurance. They suggested finding a nonprofit or government program to help. We'll keep you posted. I'm consumer justice investigator Kristen Severance. A very difficult situation there. If you need consumer justice, you can call Kristen or email her anytime. The number is 817 586 7211 or email her at consumerjustice at ktvt.com.